Welcome and welcome back. Hey, what is up, y'all? Today we got some cold steel dogs. Come check it out. Um, these ones are from her side of the collection. And uh, you guys might have uh, seen these before. They're, uh, they're a little old school. This is more like vintage now. But it's the cold steel spike. Yeah, Tokyo spike. No, this ain't the Tokyo spike. This is a... Uh, yeah, this is uh, the drop point one. This is the drop point? Yeah, okay. and this is from the Spike series. Yeah. Um, they have uh, a couple different models of these um, Spike knives here. Um, yeah, um, this is the drop point version. Um, and like I said, this is from her side of the collection. All integral piece, one full piece, um, full tang. Um, as you see there, wrapped handle on it and everything. She has all the details about it. Why don't you tell them a little something about it? Okay, so this vintage model is four, uh, eight inches overall, a little bit bigger, I think, but uh, they say the blade is 4.25 inches, and it's made out of 420 stainless. Weight comes in at 2.7 ounces, and um, quite frankly, people, I haven't weighed it completely yet, so I don't know if that's the combined weight of it and its sheath, or just it by itself. Um, but yeah, it's pretty basic. Cord wrapping on the uh, handle. You've got your lanyard hole. Um, we have this great sheath. Just a secure act sheath. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which it doesn't click into. I, I was expecting to hear it click, uh -huh. but it doesn't like like click. Uh -huh. Does and that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. We got a ball chain on this, so uh, right now she's trying it as a neck knife. And uh, how is it as a neck knife? Um, for me, it's actually a little heavy a little as heavy. a neck knife. Yeah, I'm going to have to find some other way to carry it because I love it. Yeah. But uh, yeah. It's a little heavy as a neck knife for me. Just a bit. I mean, it only weighs 2.7 ounces. Yeah, but just to show you all It's a pretty... Uh, it's pretty stocky. Yes. <laughs> and it uh, goes right to that fine tip, too. Mm -hmm. The grind is pretty much full flat. Yeah, it looks like a full flat grind yep, on it. that's exactly what it is. Made in Taiwan. Yep. This looks like a doctor's like surgical tool. Right. <laughs> I bet this make a hell of a tire popper too. I mean, go around popping tires with this thing. That's you want it? Oh, mis <laughs> what do you say? A mischief knife. Yes. That's, that's what I meant. Yeah. Looks like you're up to mischief knife. <laughs> Which I don't condone any of that. I'm just saying that it has that feel. It um, does, and that look. Let's be real. And uh, it I looks have some, like it's up to shady shit. Yeah, it looks like an <laughs> like an ice pick or something. Which is why I love it because I love my ice pick. I couldn't imagine. <laughs> If it was cold weather out and you and you felt this, which is bare hands, which it is cold right now, but it's warm in the house. Yeah, we got the, we got the, we got the wood stove going, so it's nice and warm in here. Yep, nice even and warm. Though, even though this is cold steel, I bet it would be, <laughs> I bet it'd be super cold with the Virginia temperatures out right now with this thing. Um, was yeah, it, like, it was it was cold yesterday. It was like twenty some degrees. Twenty some degrees. Yeah, this is that's what you, that's what you call cold steel. Not as cold as some parts of the U.S. I hear. Oh yeah, but, I'm sure. Uh, like, I'm, yeah, I'm sure. Like, yeah. <laughs> some parts of the Midwest are going through like a deep freeze or something. There are people in Texas without power. And... Canada, they're probably like shit. Yeah, probably you don't like know what twenty cold, degrees. You don't know what cold is. <laughs> you have no idea what cold is. <laughs> yes. Um. Quite frankly, I really don't want to find out that level of cold. Yeah. I don't. But yeah, here's a has like a little fine pair wrap on it. Yeah. And this, this, this corner they here? They say it's a cord wrapping. They don't say whether, you know, paracord, but... The, the spine on it's not sharp, sharp. Mm-mm. But... Let's see if I can get to the glow a little bit. Yeah, see, yeah. I mean, it, right here, they, they, they rounded it here pretty well, but mm -hmm. it does get a little sharper here. Yes. Um, which, uh, I don't know if that'll that'll strike a fire steel, um, even though I don't think that's really what it's for. But, uh, nah. yeah, I mean, this ain't really a woodsy knife, even though I can no. see this being a really nice bird and trout or a fish knife. You know, I could, I'd take this fishing with me. Oh, um, for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not a, not a bushcraft. <laughs> yeah, um, I got small hands, so you guys see there, gripping it. I mean, I really have to. I really have to give it a good grip. But there, I mean, I, I do. It does feel secure. Um, we'll do some. We'll do some cut testing with it. Some ed, uh, edge show, showing just how sharp this is. Um, purchasing there with that reverse grip, that's really nice. I feel like I could drive down with that, getting my thumb up there like that, and it doesn't hurt at all. I would think maybe that would cause like a hot spot, but actually, 
as you guys see there, that's... It's really comfortable. I love the cord wrapping. I really do. That that pommel is pretty, pretty round, or the end of whatever you want to call that, you know, the end of the tank. Yeah. But they put a little a little bird's beak on it. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And actually, if you look close, I mean, there is some, some, some contouring in the handle there, as you see. So that, that does help, you know, in this area, getting some friction there mm -hmm. on it. Um, yeah. Let's try a pinch grip like that. Yeah, definitely. That's that's pretty nice. Like that. Mm -hmm. I can see just making some nice cuts like that. I've never used this knife. This is from her side of the collection. Yep. See, the balance has it. It's right about there. Yeah. But uh, overall, nice and light, but at the same time, weighty where you want it to be. It's just like, I, I feel like I, I wouldn't be able to put this down if I was, I mean, <laughs> this is definitely a fondable knife. Um, yeah. And I, I couldn't even imagine with taking that texture off, it'd probably just make it more fondable. Fondable. <laughs> fondable? But yeah, here, take the Is camera real work? quick. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's take a look at the sheath real quick. Yeah. Um, from the series, they have like a Tonto and they have all different different ones that I'm sure will fit in this. I'm sure the Tonto fits in this and, the, and the, maybe the Tokyo Spike, they call it. Uh, but as you see there, I mean, it won't come out. I'm holding it by the chain and shaking it up and down. Yeah. It's not going to come out. But, but you see what I mean? It didn't like snap. Yeah. Let's, let's see here. Yeah. As you see there, it's really quiet. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't snap here. So let's try it again. We'll put it in and yeah, it doesn't snap. It just... Uh, but it's very secure. Yeah, it's secure. Like uh, I said, secure X. Yeah, I got the talent. So we got some rivet holes there. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, man, what a nice freaking knife. This is sweet. Um, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, uh, mm -hmm. here we go. I got, a, I got a spike myself. Let's put that down there. I, I'll show you guys my spike. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, uh, yeah, you know the the gremlin's named Spike, so figured he'd be appropriate. I don't think he's gonna stand. We'll set him down right there. There he goes. And uh, actually, let me take. Down. Yeah, we'll put the gremlin down. All right. Gremlins. So she's got her spike, my spike, and actually, you got another spike. Yep. Let's see that one. So. I kind of wanted to see what the other ones like, the newer ones. This is one of the newer ones because they've remade the series and put these uh, polymer handles on them. And I was like, well, let me check it out. I got a good deal on it. And yeah, this is technically, this is the new version of the same knife. However, I don't care for the new version as much. Why not? Um, I really don't like the texture that they've put on the handle. Some people might, but I don't. Yeah. Um, I, ju I, I just really, I don't like this handle. Um, compared to that. Compared, compared to this one. Compared to that one. Compared to this one. This one I love holding. I love. Yeah, yeah. It, it just feels so good. Yeah, like a, like a tool. Like, mm -hmm. a, like some type of like surgical tool. Yes. This one, on the other hand, it feels more blocky. Yeah. More rough. Um, I don't know. I, I, just, I just don't care for this handle as much as uh i do the original cord yeah. wrapping okay yeah um i've seen videos on this one and uh these scales just snap together um they come up you know they come apart and they just snap together as she's talking about that plastic right there um has some uh some type of texturing on it as you see there mm -hmm. and some scalloping the scalloping's nice and smooth and scalloping's done well well nice and the texture's done nice too but uh, i understand what you mean by that this definitely feels more like a tool Compared to that. I mean, this yeah. has a little bit more finesse to it. Yes. Um, this one. It feels sleeker, more agile, more like I'm going to be able to maneuver it and whatnot. And this one, yeah. I feel like with this handle, I can't, I can't, it doesn't have the fondability for me. That, no, I'm saying that word wrong. No, no, I totally but, get I totally get it. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's see the difference here. What's this in? Gosh, get this camera. Okay. Focus. German 4116. Yep. Also uh, made in Taiwan. Uh -huh. steel. Um, this the, the supposed to be like the upgraded version of this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, it it uh MSRP's for around uh thirty nine ninety five, I believe. And Blade HQ has Blade HQ has the whole series. I mean, you can get the whole series at Blade HQ for the new ones. The old ones are out of stock. They did carry them. 
but the new ones you can get the whole series. You can get the Spike, the Bowie, the Drop Point, the Tonto. Which is, I mean, they're they're <laughs> they're really cool. I mean, this one has a, like the finger groove in it, and it, the, 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 kind of like the hand guard. So I said that one would have been a good tire popper. This one would be a really <laughs> good one. I mean, that's definitely going to protect your hands a, a little better, even if you didn't have gloves. Oh, um, for sure. And uh, for the price of these, I mean, if you go hard on them, break them. I mean, you could just get another one right now. And these these are yeah easily found. Yeah, she said they had the whole series at Blade HQ. They're in stock. In stock, so I and mean, they, and they range in price from you know mid twenties to about close to forty dollars a piece. The sh the sharpness you know? the sharpness on this is definitely a lot sharper than that one. I feel like this one's just you know they cut and went, but uh. I mean, but I mean, still overall, just it's still a really nice knife. It is. I mean, to it's get that, it's still a really nice knife. But at the I think same, it's a saber grind or saber grind, or is that a Scandi grind? I don't know. It might be a I don't saber. Know. I, uh, could, I it didn't didn't. Uh, like a, I forgot to write it down. Actually, of, oops. <laughs> yeah, it looks like some type of maybe. I I don't know hollow grind saber grind. You know. Yeah, something like that. I'm sorry, people. I forgot to write it down <laughs> for the new one. Yeah, that edge goes all the way back. That's yeah, that's does. cool. I like that. Um, so you get your basic, your almost your full four inches. <laughs> yeah. All right, that sorry. sounded wrong. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> now that I step back, that sounded a little <laughs> wrong. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, main Taiwan. Let's take a look at that sheath real quick. Here, take yeah. this again. Oh, anyway, yeah. got it. And the sheath oh. that comes with this one is once again Secure X. Mm -hmm. So. Put it in here. Slide that four incher in there. <laughs> Ready? That one snaps it. Yes. As you see, they all shake it upside down. This one don't have a chain on it. Wait, I think this one might be a little too heavy for our well, for our for our uh for for, for us. We're, we're we're like petite, so. Well, technically, they say that the newer ones weigh a little bit less, around two point three ounces or so. Okay. And the older ones weigh a little bit more, around two point seven. So I don't know. Maybe somebody with a thicker neck would want to neck knife it. For me, it's just yeah. Like, for me, I've been trying it, and I, now I'm going to try and find a different way to carry it because. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the thick. Look at the blade stock on that. Yeah, I know, right. Makes you wonder why they stopped this. I'm sure everyone complained and we got this, but it was like, man, it would have been cool if they would have kept making this. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, here's another, a couple other size comparisons while we're here. Then we'll do a, some quick cut tests in here. Yep. I got my yeah. uh, my CRKT CEO here. There we go. Don't stud that. That's what you're carrying today. Uh, that's what I got in my pocket, even though I got another work knife on me, just in case. Um, I've got, I got to break some boxes down. Um, yeah. Kershaw. Kershaw, Ken Onion, that's so, you know, that's usually just some my beater knife, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I've, I've been really wanting to carry this uh, <laughs> CRKT, plus it just looks kind of appropriate with the video as a folder, I mean, look at that that blade style, mm -hmm. um, and uh, this you, this was, she tried this as a neck knife because her previous existing neck knife is actually uh, a little gizmo um, of a knife, um, oh, not that, not that type of gizmo. <laughs> um, all right. Are you sure it's not that type of gizmo? No, it's a, the other little gizmo. Yeah, it's yeah. A, what is this? The it's buck? It's the smidge. It's the buck smidge in. And it really is just a smidge of a thing. And I was like, man, I want something. I want an overdeveloped ice pick around my neck. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of like the same idea and uh that was kind of like the upgrade from that yeah <laughs> made by buck knife little little smidgen her, her little existing neck knife and that thing is thin but one uh of them. yeah fixed blade um here's another one just real quick and then uh we'll do some cut tests in here i'm uh, going to pull that on you guys probably is another Everybody one probably recognizes this one another one by crkt yeah spew just a little size comparison here yeah uh, the old versus the new I would definitely say the smidgen is definitely a smidgen. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It, like, disappears. It's like, but, where'd uh, it go? Yeah, that, yeah. Right underneath the handle of the spew. Yep. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So let's do some cut testing real quick. Okay. You want me to move? Uh, yeah, let's, no, let's uh, go ahead and try some string first. Okay. Let me gather the string. Yeah. I'll bring you the string. And people, you know what? We're running out of a cutting material, so if you would like to send us paracord, old belts, <laughs> yeah, we'll cut, you know, we'll cut it up. 
Yeah, just <laughs> message us. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> we'll take some. <laughs> so let's try this 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 new one here. Okay. And this thing is just wicked sharp here. All right, let's try. Ready? Yep. Yeah, man, nice. I even hardly put any force to that. Yeah. Let's try here. Well, try one more time. Let's just slide it back and forth just by its own. I'm not even going to pull on knife. I'm just going to slide the rope. Yeah. I mean, it Dang. cut by itself. That's how sharp that thing that is. That is cool. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty impressive. I mean, yeah. I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> I'm sure you get even sharper than what it is right now. All right. Let's try the Not other sure. one. Let's try the old spike. Okay. All right. Let's try cutting that one first. Okay. Yeah. So nice. push, push cutting that one. Really, I, I felt the edge on that one there. Yeah. That's where it was at, uh, sharpness wise. Let's try it again. Let's just try the slide cut now. Here. Just rub it back and forth. Yeah, so about three times through. <laughs> and uh, sharp enough to do that. We'll, we'll try That's it on nice. some paper. We'll try it on some paper real quick, but just real quick since we're here, I kind of want to cut this string. He's <laughs> like, it, I kind of want to cut the string. It's like fishing net. And like I said, this would probably be a good fishing knife if you can yeah. find one. I mean, I think this is stainless too. Yeah. Yep. 420, this one. Oh, right through some fishing net. So, wow. You could, this thing really just operates mm -hmm. quick. I'm sure you could carve up some fruit with this, which we're going to do here in a, yeah. in a minute. But since we're here, let's uh let's do some paper with this one. Just try the edge on it. And this is actually a thick blade, so. It is, pretty thick. We're probably gonna have to strop this, this wicked girl right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, let's try the piercing on. Yeah. Yeah, so that's little, more what it's for. <laughs> yeah, a little cut test in there on that. So what a poke it. Yeah, let's try this one. Oh, this, this one. This one's. Oh that. wow! Yeah, Weird. just just difference just, in the grind. I think just way sharper. That's what it is. I mean, it, it's just thinner all the way around. Different yeah. grind on it. Um, newer. It's remodeled. Yeah. Remodeled. But uh, still very nice. You're still getting about the same length there. I'm sure. Yeah, let's try the piercing on that real quick. Wow. Huh? Not bad. Terrible on it. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. The spike. Mm-hmm. All right, I guess we could do some fruit now then, huh? Yep. All right, let me slide this out of the way. Okay. Let me grab this stuff here. Some apples. Apples. Bye-bye, okay. spike. Oh, one spike anyway. Slide that here. All right. So let's do this one first, I guess, the old yeah. school one here. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. apples. These apples been we, we picked them out in the tree out here. Big giant red ones to see here. Just do a little spin cut on it. Wow, yeah. So let's try it again. I'm just gonna just spin it around in it. Toss see what it's out for the critters. See what a drill mark looks like. <laughs> yeah, make an apple juice. Look at that. Drill just, that apple. <laughs> <laughs> That Didn't knife looks like it's having a good time. Yeah, I just spun. I just literally just spun, <laughs> spun it, was, it all the way through. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. I make a pipe out of it now. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, pack it up. <laughs> Here, let's just spin it. Through. Let's get some applesauce out there. Let's give it a good blow. <laughs> right, <bro. laughs> Look at that. Yeah, you can see all the that way through. That is so cool. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Made applesauce. <laughs> made applesauce. Made a pipe. All right. Let's try that. Yeah, so this is definitely isn't the best. I mean, this apple's a little... You know, we've been showing the house. It's been sitting on the countertop for people to come by. For a by. few days. Yeah. Yeah, as you see, this this apple's getting a little old here. Mm-hmm. But, uh... The deer are going to love it. Kind of, yeah, the deer are going to love it. We're going to throw it right outside here. And so we're, we're just saving it for cutting purposes. Yeah, so it doesn't make the best slicer. Here, let's try it like this. Right, and that, get all that applesauce off. <laughs> let's try it like this. Yeah, with the size of this blade, it just kind of just pushes the material. Yeah. So, uh, hey, all you guys that would like the baton. <laughs> there, here's, there's a challenge for you, baton that. All right, all right, let's try it. 
let's 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 try this other one. Let's put that away. Okay. There. Oh yeah, since we're here, let's just do a quick cut test. Let's just do a quick drop test. The camera just a little bit, yeah, like that. Okay. It's just, yeah. So that's just me, just kind of just dropping it down. You guys know you like dropping your knives into like logs and shit like that. So that's cool, man. I mean, you just throw it right in there to look. <laughs> wow, man, I think it has some drive to it. All right, making a mess here. Okay, let's try this knife now. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, the new one, new spike track. Oh, that one's definitely a better slicer. Wow, yeah, that one went right through. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, as you guys see the difference there, I mean, it, I could actually use this knife mm -hmm. as a, uh, actually as a food prep knife for sure. Mm -hmm. um, a lot easier than that other one here. Let's try, try a grip like that. Have the knife upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Looking through the camera. Thumb there too, yeah, definitely. Yeah, let's try this. Yeah, it's a peeler real quick. It's all through the camera, so. Yeah. Not See? bad. Peel right there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's just try stabbing it real quick. And then, wow, yeah. Oh. <laughs> these are nice knives I like your yeah. knives I'd I like to uh, see what the other ones look like but there it is cold steel spike the old and the new from her collection there let's see here <laughs> cool there it is All right. well, I hope you guys liked the video um, sorry it's been a while we've been really busy working around the house and everything so we had to take a little time for ourselves to just have a little fun yep. and uh, get back to the channel and just uh uh have some fun. Yeah, have a little fun today. We've been exhausted. Yep. So we'll see y'all next time. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.